A camera uplink is established with a new probe. For unknown reasons, over 10% of all the probes have disappeared. The probe is currently visiting a large nebula, scanning for a planet. An unknown reading is picked up by the outboard sensors. The probe engages its monopulse radars, forming a map of the area. A target planet has been found, and the course has been updated. After a while, the probe reaches visual range. Two large comets are seen, in addition to several other planetary bodies. A close range pass of the comet is permitted as the probe makes its way to the readings. Non-natural infrared readings were detected at one of the planets. The probe continues on. At roughly one million miles away, the planet becomes visible, showing a large ring. Two of the planet's rocky moons zip by as we get closer. Maximum stopping power is required and the probe begins its descent into the atmosphere. The probe passes the planet's rings only a mile in width, but many, many more miles in diameter. Island-type formations are revealed as we get closer. The atmosphere, already known to be toxic, is primarily composed of methane. No more signs of the strange signal have been detected, although the probe continues to do a quick glance over the planet's surface. The probe passes through several acidic cloud layers, each with their own combination of acidic components. Due to extreme cooling effects, the other side of the planet is nearly free of all the acid cloud layers, but still just as desolate. Nothing of value was found, and the probe continues on. This specific probe was given the mission to try to find out why all the probes are disappearing with no evidence as to why. Passing the young star, the probe gathers 
more than enough energy and continues accelerating. The probe sensors are set to high sensitivity for infrared signals as it continues traveling towards this minor galaxy ahead.